Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Muhammad Aslan, once again with all of you people today. And for anybody who does not know, we are once again at our infamous course. And it has been a quite some time since I've done my last um, video regarding this one. And it is a bit problematic. I've been seeing you people's review and how eager and naive you are for listening to such things. And I'm really grateful to have such students and to have such viewers and such passionate students who want to learn this separate language. 30 days crash course, we all know about this. At this point, if you do not know what the 30 days crash course is, so go ahead and check out my other videos that are on the same channel. Uh, they are the previous episodes, days, whatever you want to call it, of this 30 days crash course. Now, let me get you this. In this 30 days crash course, I'm adding some other topics. It's up to you because the topics that I'm concluding here currently are going to be the smaller topics. Like, for example, the important topics, what you would call. But on those extra bonus episodes, which is going to be like 10 different bonus episodes. So in those, I'm going to show you some things in detail. For example, traveling language. For example, there is going to be language. And finally, I'm going to give my final thoughts, reviews and farewell. And those things will also be in the bonus episode. So if you want to see those, so tell me and I will conduct the bonus days. 30 days, alag. Oh, yeah, bonus ke 10, 12, now, jitne bhi days hai, wo alag. We are back at our day 20. So what are we going to be discussing today? There were many topics in the past and if you people want to see the bonus days, there are going to be like 9, 10, 12 days. So tell me, I'll conduct those two if you people want to see them. But they're separate, they're not important, but they are also good. So if you want to learn those things, like they are not the important things, like grammar, like in that I'm going to tell you how to write business memos, how to have mock interviews and these type of things. I'm going to tell you those type of things, how to write reports, how to write proposals, how to write many more things. That's going to be how I'm going to teach you that. So let's start our today's topic. Business English language essentials. What is business English language? Now, if, if, if I conduct any mistake, so I am very, very dearly sorry to everybody that has been listening to me because um, I am not an expert of business because I have not been a part of any business class nor is... Yes, we have uh, our family members who do a little bit of business, but other than that, I personally have no experience with business, so I'm not that much good understanding and expressing business English language, but as far as my knowledge is concerned, I will show you how much I know. So, vocabulary and phrases for business settings. Now, this is something that you have to remember and rather not something that is just like a theory or something like that. This is not like those things. This is a bit more different than theories, etc. Because the vocabulary and the phrases you have here are a bit more different than just what you think they are. Because the vocabulary and phrases, you can go on the internet and see a lot of them, there will be a ton of them, but remembering those and using them in your daily life is what is important. And I've told you people how to remember and how to memorize vocabulary if you haven't seen the other videos, you guys can see those and have a little bit of more idea about who I am, what I do, and where am I from, and mostly what do I do. So, these are going to be the type of things that I'm going to be doing, vocabulary and phrases. So these are the two different um, areas or the two different places that I think would be very important for a professional setting because you cannot be casual. You should rather, as we all know, you should rather be polite and you should be formal rather than being casual and informal. That is what is important. So you should have good vocabulary, hold, you should have good, uh, you should have a good value of words and you should know which word are you going to choose and which aren't you going for and which one is your favorite and which one isn't. So phrases for professional there are a lot of phrases, there are a lot of vocabulary, there are a lot of things that you can find on the internet. Go ahead, check them out, remember that. Business correspondence and etiquette. Lots of people commit mistake in this portion because they do not have the etiquette. Etiquette. You might ask what etiquette means here. Etiquette actually means ethics or the morals or formalities you have for some specific area. Your ethics for or your manners for your family would be a bit different than what your casual friends group is like and then your your etiquette with a professional or your boss or your elder will be different than what you have with your colleagues like with your colleagues you will not be as open as friends but rather a little bit open you will not be that much not open and you will not make that much mistakes so business correspondence what is business correspondence business correspondence is the respond of a respond I just made that more difficult, but in simple words, correspondence is the respond to a respond of your message. Okay, let me let me clear it. For example, you have messaged to a company. Like you are a company person, you have messaged to a company. The company sees the message and gives you the respond. Or oh, you give the response. It's up to you how you do it. So the, the company messages you, you give the response. The company gives you another response. Company first of all messages you, you message the company and then the company messages you. So when the company messages you, that is known as a correspondence. And this, this is the company, this is you, this is the company. So this is a response, this is a correspondence. 
so either you will be responding a company either you will be corresponding a company in both cases it is similar or either you will be proposing something in proposals it is very important to stay polite it is very important to stay formal it is very important to stay humble and down to earth uh, not showing your superiority or inferiority because that is going to have a bad effect upon the person the company that you are going to send the message to so your correspondence should be very formal it should be not too much casual rather too much professional because sometimes people just become too professional and just turn into the so called aflatoon and then they start to write things in the most professional manner you have ever seen and those things just feel a bit more unnatural and a bit more fake so stay a bit natural but in the circle and in politeness you should have that role playing business scenarios so what are role playing business scenarios role playing business scenarios for example there are many business scenarios there are many role plays role plays between role play ka simple matlab hai ke do characters hote hain aksar stories ya conversations aapne dekhe honge do characters honge to aap ek character bante ho aapka dost ya aapka student ya aapka friend dusra character banta hai to aap ek dusre ke sath baat karte ho so you are role playing here so that's what you are doing so role playing business scenarios there are going to be many scenarios for example you have uh, argumentative customer jo ke argument kar raha ho you have a bad boss jo ke aapko jo hai sahi se pay check nahi de raha wagaira wagaira ye kisam ki stories ho sakti hain you have for example stories ke bahut sare scenarios ho sakte hain jis tarah koi intruder aa jata hai ya kuch aur ho jata hai so you guys can check out more as you guys can see these are a few of the many different examples that i have and you people can check out some other ones cuz aap google ke upar ye same cheez de de for example role playing business scenarios to wahan par aapko hazaron mil jayenge different scenarios jinke sath aap रोल प्ले कर सकेंगे सो दैट वॉज ऑल फॉर टूडे फ्रेंड्स एंड डू नॉट बी होपलेस वी आर गोइंग टू गो फर्दर और मैं आप लोगों के लिए बोनस भी लेकर आया हूँ ताकि आप लोग और भी ज़्यादा अच्छे हों हमारे इस कोर्स के अंदर सो थैंक यू सो मच फर्स्टिंग विद मी एंड हाफिज़